To create a new page, we'll need to find the folder that we want that page to live in. So let's hover over content and click on pages. And for now, we're working in the training folder, so I'll click on training. And if you have a training folder, you're going to use your MyWSU ID. That's what your folder is going to be labeled as. So you can use that search filter to find it. And we'll click on that to open the folder. Now we'll need to click the new content button at the top right. It's that green button. And in that drop down menu, we'll choose standard content page. And when we click on that, we get a little pop up window where we can add a page title, description, tags, and keywords. Scrolling down, we can choose whether or not to add a navigation item. We'll need to choose a file name for that. So we can use lowercase letters, underscores, dashes, and numbers. In the standard page options, we can choose to overwrite the existing file if there is one. And we can choose the access group, but we'll inherit from parent and click create. And when we do that, it'll take us to our new page where we can start making changes, edit the main content, edit the sidebar content. And once we're done, we'll click Publish to make that live. And that's how you create a new standard content page. If you want to create a new landing page, you'll follow those same steps and just choose landing page instead of standard content page.